G'day everyone, buck up in North Queensland. A hot North Queensland. I've just had to crank the bloody ceiling fans on in the shed. It was bloody hot. As it is this time of the year. Welcome to part two of my angle generator series. First one was my reasoning on why I bought this particular generator from my local BCF here in Innisfail. This one here is going to be the unboxing. I'm going to do them short, keep them short, try not to jibber jabber too long. So let's get into it. If you're going, Buck, why do you buy an angle generator and not a Yamaha or a Honda? Look at part one, and I explain exactly why I bought this generator. So we're going to unbox it. I haven't had this out of the box yet. So let's do it. As I said, 2,500 watt generator, inverter generator. Cost me 1,389, 13.89, as opposed to well over two grand for the Yamaha and the and the Hondas. What have we got here? I've got stuff in here. It looks like a little tool roll there. Instruction book, which is important that we read this. I know us blokes aren't good at reading instructions, but we really need to do that. I'll just make sure there's nothing hiding in the cardboard. No, not in that one. Out she goes. It's well packaged, so it doesn't get damaged in trees. Right, eh? It's got a bit of weight. I'll go through the weight. I think the weight's about 24 kilos on these things. So here we go. I'll just get him out of the plastic. Right, eh? There you go, Honda's red, Yamaha's blue, and Engel's green. Got him around the wrong way. Quick look there. So there's the actual generator. And we'll go through it soon and uh, give you a run over the outside of it and what everything is on there. So there's the generator. One thing I like about this, like a suitcase, it's got a couple of wheels and it's got a, a handle. I'll show you that soon, so you can use that. It comes with the owner's manual. And I know at the start of here, the owner, BCF's very good. If you click on this, it's actually got a uh, electronic copy. So if you ever lose this, you can go on the BCF site and they've actually got the owner's manual uh, attached to this item. So you can actually download it on your computer. Make sure you read this guys, there's a lot of safety information. And the big one, I'm not gonna go through all. Don't use it in wet conditions, okay? It, it isn't waterproof. The big one is, do not use a generator of any sort indoors. After Cyclone Yasi in 2011, Category 5 Cyclone, we had one fatality after that cyclone. And guess what it was from? Someone gassed himself by having his generator inside the house and he died of carbon monoxide poisoning, guys. Bloody tragic. We all think, oh, everyone knows not to do that. Well, they don't. Everyone doesn't know to do that because there have been deaths from it. So don't ever run your generator indoors, okay? It's got to be outdoors. They spit out like any, any engine. They pump out carbon monoxide and it can kill you. So please, never run your generator inside. So it comes with a, a full instruction book there, which I'm going to read. After I turn the camera off, I'm going to go inside, have a cup of tea, and I'm going to read through this and I'm going to highlight all the important areas that I need to let you know about. Because I know there'll be people watching this YouTube clip going, you're probably watching it because you want to get some information from me, so I want to make sure I'm, I'm giving you the correct information. So there it is there. It's a bloody, it's a nice looking generator, isn't it? It's a nice compact. A lot of these inverted generators, why did I get an inverted generator and not a big uh, higher capacity one that I can use for after cyclones and power the whole house? This here, I can take this camping with me if I need to. If I ever wanted to take this camping with me, I can. And it's got the capability to run an air conditioner. Not that I have an air conditioner in the camper trailer, but 
it's pure sine wave, which means the electricity that comes out of this is clean electricity, is a good way to put it, and you can power uh, sensitive devices off it, computers and uh, laptop computers and all that type of stuff. You know that you're not going to get a big current spike and blow up your battery box and that when you're charging it up. If I put my SeaTech battery charger into this to charge up my lithium batteries, I'm not going to get a big power spike and blow my lithium batteries up. Pure sine wave energy, so and that's what you want. That's what the inverter uh, generators is about. Now, it also came with a little tool kit here, so you can do your own servicing. Little tool pouch, got a screwdriver, Phillips head there, flat tip there, so you can use it either one. And I'll show you probably in the next clip when we do the oil and that, that the screwdrivers use there, the flat tip, just to uh, undo a few of the covers. And it looks like we've got a spark plug spanner here, so we can do change the spark plug, which I think you don't have to change the spark, spark plug until 250 running hours on this. Okay, what I did have to do, it didn't come with oil, so I went down and purchased some oil. BCF were out of it, can you believe that? So I went down to Super Cheap, I'll run you through exactly what type of oil you need to use on this generator. Now, another thing I was going to buy and BCF had run out is a maintenance kit. You can also get a maintenance kit to go with the angle generators. And in there is uh, a new air filter, a new spark plug, the oil, uh, an oil filling pump and all that type and a few other things in there. It's about $89 and it's a servicing kit for your angle generator. So you get a, a servicing kit for either the 2000 watt the two and a half thousand watt or the three and a half thousand watt angle generator. They had them for the other two, but not for the 2500. But at the end of the day, all I need at the moment to get this generator up and running was the oil. I don't need spare spark plugs and air filters and all that. That'll come down the track so I can get one of those servicing kits from BCF anytime I want when they get them in stock, okay? One thing I did need to do because these generators don't come with oil in them, everyone. Never start a brand new generator up until you put the oil in. Otherwise, you're gonna blow it up and do your money. They won't cover that one on warranty, let me tell you. So, this angle, this particular angle generator here, the 2500 watt, must take uh, 15W40. Viscosity, I think is the big word. I'm using Castrol 15W40. Okay, now listen, it doesn't have to be Castrol on that. If you can't get your hands on Castrol, the main important thing here is it's an oil for a petrol engine. This says for petrol or diesel engines, and it is a 15W40. All generators may take a different type of oil. This is 15W40, so if you get the 2500 watt, make sure you get a 15W40 oil. Okay, I've got the Castrol, that's the one that uh, BCF recommended to me. I went down to super cheap and they said, yep, this is the one that'll do it, mate. 15W40 synthetic oil. So that's the one I'll use to put in. It takes about 380 milliliters when you top this up, just almost 400 mil. So well under half a liter. This is a one liter bottle and it's got markings on the side there. So I'll use 400 mil. So I'll get two and a half oil changes out of a one liter bottle. So two full oil changes, and then I'll have to go and buy another bottle when I, when I have to do the third oil change. If I, in case I forget to say it later on, the first oil change is due after 20 hours of running time. Run it in for 20 hours, then do an oil change, and then after that it's every 50 hours. But just remember, do an oil change after your first 20 hours. Gonna do a running clip on this, gonna fire a camping fridge up. So there's the unboxing. I'll keep it nice and short. I'll just do this as an unboxing clip, guys, before I go over the generator and show you everything there. Gonna go in now, have a cup of tea. I'm gonna read the manual. I think this here, if you're not familiar with generators, have a cup of tea, sit down and read the manual. I know us blokes are bloody terrible for reading instructions, but I think this is one that you really need to do. A lot of safety warnings in there. The first two or three pages is safety, and the big one is don't bloody use it in the rain and then electrocute yourself. And the other ones, don't use it in an enclosed space. 
even in this shed, guys, even though I've got a lot of ventilation in this shed, I wouldn't run it. I'd run it outside, undercover. I've got an undercover carport out there. I'd run it out there if, I, if, it, if it was raining. I'd run it out there. I wouldn't even run it in this shed, even though there's a lot of windows and doors. Never, ever run it inside your house. That is the biggest safety warning there. If you didn't know that, you know it now. It can kill you. Carbon monoxide. So there you go, there's the unboxing. There's my new angle, 2,500 watt or 2.5 kVA generator. People are gonna go in the comments, it's not a 2.5 kVA bucket. Well, depends. it depends which thing you read. To me, 2,500 watts is a 2.5 kVA, kilovolt, amperes or whatever. Just think of it as a 2,500 watt generator, okay? This can pump out 2,300 watts all day, okay? And it's, it, it's got good capacity. Compared to the little Honda, I think it's running, its running capacity was 1,800 watts. Don't quote me on that. It was a 2.2, so it's peak power 2.2, but all day, you shouldn't go over 1,800 watts. This thing's a 2,300 watt. Okay, it can go up to a maximum 2,500 for a short period of time, but it will handle 2,300. So it'll a little bit more capacity than the Honda. I explain all that in my first clip. That is a nice looking unit. It is a nice looking unit. It, it's pretty basic, comes with a real basic toolkit. It doesn't come with oil. I do recommend if you do buy one, buy the servicing kit at the same time. I was gonna do that. I just, they didn't have any in stock. What I'll do in part three is we'll go through all the uh, tabulated data, we used to call it in the army, the weights, fuel tank capacity, all that type of stuff, and we'll show you over the outside of the generator. So there you go, that's the unboxing. If you buy an angle generator, the 2,500 watt, that's what you can expect to get out of the box. The generator and a small toolkit. That is it, guys. That is it. Make sure, if you don't buy the servicing kit, you do go and buy a bottle of oil to go with it and make sure it's 15W40. Very important, don't run the wrong type of oil in it. Make sure it's 15W40 or you might void you. If you just go and go, oh, this is an oil for small engines and if it's not 15W40 and something happens to the engine and they find out you haven't been running the right vis viscosity oil, you may void your warranty, and it's got a good warranty, so you don't want to stuff it up. Four year warranty on these things. All right, guys, that's it. That's the unboxing of my angle 2500 watt generator. Catch on the next one, eh? We'll go through, tell you uh, some the statistics, and we'll go over it with a fine tooth comb and show you what everything does, eh? Beauty. See ya.